Yes, it is continuity of first video. But all five d orbitals have different orientation. Different orientation. Okay, and different distance. Different distance. Okay, around metal or metal cation. Hence, when ligands approach, when ligand approach, then. They, then they experience then they experience different attracts different repulsion force different repulsion force hence hence orbitals which experience greater repulsion with okay, an ionic ligand an ionic ligand okay, <coughs> then their energy will slightly increase because we know the we know that the repulsion causes increase in the energy then their energy slightly increases okay while one which show lesser repulsion lesser repulsion okay will experience uh, will show less increase in energy increase in energy that is that is degeneracy degeneracy will not remains maintained not remains maintained and thus splitting and thus splitting takes place takes place in five numbers of d orbitals five number of d orbitals in the two sets in the two sets okay one is called t2g and other is called eg this is splitting in d orbitals is known as known as crystal field splitting this is known as crystal field splitting and the theory is known as crystal field splitting theory okay now <coughs> Now, splitting takes place in two different, two different type of complexes, type of complexes. So, we will discuss two things, what crystal field splitting theory in octahedral complex 
octahedral complex and the second one is crystal field splitting theory in which complex tetrahedral complex which we will discuss in our next video tetrahedral complexes okay in what the case the splitting takes place differently it is because <coughs> the orientation of 5d orbitals okay and the approaching of ligands are in different ways therefore different type of splitting takes place student remember this is our video number 2 you have to watch video first you have to watch first video and then you watch this video okay then you can better understand okay